we have a selection of books here that we're going to use for the 6 plus 1 traits of writing to model as mentor texts. So first off, when we talk about 6 plus 1 writing, we talk about the different traits that are used, and one of them, in this case, is word choice. Word choice involves using the right words in writing that will give clarity and evoke feelings and moods, likes and dislikes, and helps to create a vivid picture in the reader's mind. Students become aware that there are different ways to express their thoughts. They become more aware of the use and power of language by adding new and varied words within their writing. Using vivid, colorful, and dynamic words will expand and enrich student writing. In fact, when we look at word choice here with these books, these mentor textbooks, we're looking at choosing the right words and using them correctly, making them fun and interesting so they help your readers see what you're talking about. Try not to use the same words over and over and over again. If you don't choose your words carefully, your reader may not understand what you're trying to say. So here we have a selection of books that we call mentor books. And uh, when we introduce students to the 6 plus 1 traits of writing, many teachers read aloud a text that exemplifies the trait, in this case, the trait of word choice. This is the notion of mentor text when we do that. Students learn the evidence of the trait from mentors and how to imitate it within their own writings. Such mentor text often includes picture books. The text is short, which is important for a mini lesson, and it's engaging for students. So we're going to use Lucy Cousin's book, Hooray for Fish, as a mentor text to be able to look at word choice and how the author makes word choices in the story here. This is part of the 6 plus 1 traits of writing. All right, let's go ahead. This is Hooray for Fish by Lucy Cousins and read by Mr. C, the teacher. Hello. I am Little Fish, swimming in the sea. I have lots of fishy friends. Come along with me. Hello, 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 fish. Red, blue, and yellow fish. Hello, spotty fish, stripey fish. Happy fish, gripey fish. One, two, three... How many can you see? Hello, Ella fish, Shelly fish. Hello, Harry fish, Scary fish. I fish, Shy fish, Fly fish, Sky fish. Hello, Fat and Thin fish. Hello, twin fin fin fish. Curly whirly, twisty twirly. Upside down, round and round. So many friends, so many fish. Splash, splash, splish. But where's the one I love the best, even more than all the rest? Hello, Mom. Hello, little fish. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hooray for fish. All right, that's Lucy Cousins' book, Hooray for Fish, and we're using it as a mentor text to look at word choice, how the author, Lucy Cousins, has used her words in here to go along with her story. And I think it's fairly obvious through the story that the words she's using are words to describe the fish that are pictured in the book. And I believe Lucy Cousins does both the writing and the illustration. So she's saying spotty fish to go along with a picture of a spotty fish and stripey fish to go along with a description of a fish with stripes. Right, I love her one, two, three, and then her fish have one, two, and three written on it. Right, happy fish and a gripey, sort of grumpy fish. So she's using descriptive word choice to describe the fish that little fish is seeing in the ocean. 
I love this play on words here, an ella fish for an elephant fish, and a shelly fish for one in a shell. It's a very descriptive word choice to go along with her story. Are you going to write a story with some descriptive word choices?